What's up, guys? Old Ed Mike here, and welcome to my reaction review for Dying Wish, Path to Your Grave. Let's go. So uh, I'm just going to repeat everything I've said in all my other Dying Wish reaction videos, so I'll just go through it real quick. I think the music that they put out right now is incredible. Love the production. Love everything. I think this might be album of the year, so uh, this is just another one to add to the list. Let's see how it holds up. Let's check out uh, Path to Your Grave. Just like right into it, okay. Turn it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Love the guitar playing. There's a little bit of lightness to the guitar, so I wonder if this is gonna be like a brighter song. Like a more melodic one. Love the little ting. You gotta have the ting before the two step. God, that, that, that pickup with the speed is crazy. I feel like the guitar is the biggest part of the song so far. Do they give it kind of a break for the chorus for Emma to sing? Mom, what you doing? Come on, bring me a, give me a guitar lead. I can feel it coming. I I, I can feel it. I like that. I get it. They kind of like transform the riff into a breakdown riff. Damn it! Ended already. <laughs> so one thing about these Dying Wish songs is they 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 fly by for some reason. Um. Okay. So this one, I'm trying to think of what I think about it. This one's a little bit different than the others. It's kind of more plays along with like the more standard metalcore tropes. Uh, if I want to say that, in a, not in exactly a negative way. Um. It's it's just more along the lines of you know um kind of very much kill switch a little bit i i i really like um 
the guitar work in here. I think that's a lot. That's where I get a lot of the kill switch from. You know, it's very kind of Adam D playing with the guitar and that lead that comes in right after that, like kind of like breakdown section. I kind of wish I was expecting them to kind of play the lead in the breakdown, kind of like blend them together. I think that would have really made this song like really pop. Um, so I would say this is possibly the weaker of the what four songs that came out but not in again not in really a bad way i feel like this one has a little bit more well i don't want to say more of an emotional feeling because that last one they put out i can't remember the song name but um with the the storm and all that 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 one was pretty powerful (laughs) too but uh this one definitely leans a little bit more into the emotional side i think but i still like it like this is this is so um great stuff i i think it it plays a little bit more tropey um than the rest but i am perfectly fine with that um so rating wise i'll give this one an 8 out of 10 i think i'll give this one an 8 out of 10 i'll have to listen to it more and see um again when the album comes out um it's going to change everything and see how they list those how they what order they come in and stuff but everything here is really solid um i like i said i think the only thing i would have liked more about it was just if they would have played that lead inside of that breakdown i think really would have you know really would have made it kind of special because i felt like it was going to be a kind of a more of a melodic song with the way it uh started uh but again those are just kind of just my you know my expectations something you know that i set up for myself so uh others may have a different opinion but um still great and i still think this is gonna be album of the year i, I think it's um it's just great good, good fucking metal corn you know uh so yeah eight out of ten for me uh let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to come by our drunken song request streams friday night 6 p.m central standard time here on youtube and our album review streams saturday nights 6 p.m central standard time over on twitch old ed mike signing off reminding you never too old for this